Welcome to High Biz News. This is Kangsha Gangapuram, and you're watching National PR News. BOB Financial Solutions Limited announced the launch of its credit card servicing mobile app BOB Card to give its customers a one-stop solution to manage their Bank of Baroda credit card services on the move. Designed in the collaboration with IBM, BOB Card is a smart digital platform that offers a battery saver dark theme interface that is pleasing to the eye, an attractive design and secured access with a face ID, fingerprint lock and pin, and a smart eye features that ensure the card details of the customers remain private. To complement its faster than industry business growth and to delight its customers, the leading card players, new mobile servicing app Bob Card will provide consumers with the convenience of managing card usage limit, redeem rewards points instantly, convert high-value transactions into smart EMIs, pay credit card bills on time. <music> SBI Card registered a growth of 105.80% in the net profit to Rs 626.91 crores for the quarter ended June 30, 2022, Q1 FY23 compared to 304.61 crore of the same quarter last year. Q1 PAT climbed by 7.93% from 580.86 crores in the preceding quarter. Revenue from operations stood at Rs 3,100 crores in Q1 FY23, raising by 31% YOY in 9% QOQ. Interest income came at Rs 1,387 crores in Q1 of this physical climbing by 20% YOY and 10% of QOQ. Earning before credit cost climbed by 22% at 1,291 crore for Q1 FY23 compared to 1,056 crores for Q1 FY22 and up by 10% as compared to Q4 FY22 at 1,172 crores. In the first quarter of FY23, SBS card inflows increased by 19% to 1.43 crores versus 1.20 crores as of Q1 FY22. Spence rose by 79% at Rs 59,671 crores for Q1 FY23 against 33,260 crores for Q1 FY22. On BSC, SBI card share closed at Rs 924 apiece higher by 35.25 or 3.97%. The company's market cap is around 87,157.42 crores. <laughs> Honorable Chief Minister of Meghalaya Sri Kornad Sangama launched Focus Plus as an expansion to its flagship initiative Focus to benefit all households across Meghalaya. In its new format, Focus Plus will provide an opportunity for families to take up additional activities and contribute towards agriculture value chain development. Under this scheme, financial aid of Rs 5000 per household will be provided directly to their beneficiary's bank account. The scheme launched at an event in Resebula Para, North Gora Hills is likely to provide aid to large sections of Meghalaya rural population and will look to transform the lives of people of the state. Meghalaya, a state that is progressing fast on various parameters including getting a top rating in Niti Aayog's Innovation Index, ranked among the best in the startup ecosystem, global awards and recognition, looks to be on course to realize its vision of being among the top 10 states in 10 years. <music> LV Prasad Eye Institute is set to launch a door-to-door -door community screening project in Maheshwaram Mandalam of Rangaredi district under the CSR initiative of Cement Health in Years India. Under the project Reach Out with Innovative Series for Eye Care, 50,000 people will be screened for eye alignments. The project was inaugurated on 28th of July 2022 at LV Prasad I Institute's Maheshwaram Vision Centre by Srimati P. Sabita Indra Reddy, Honourable Minister for Education, Government of Telangana. Access to good quality of eye health services globally is a key enabler to achieve the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. This can be achieved by strengthening and ensuring universal eye health coverage for all LV Prasad Eye Institute, a World Health Organization Collaboration Centre for Prevention of Blindness, is dedicatedly working towards this. The project RISE fulfills the goals set for universal eye health coverage. Star Talk to Wells, an initiative of the Stars of North East India, Sony, a registered public charitable trust and talent hunt platform, was held at V Guwahati. The first appointed speaker of the event was Aman Wadud, a young lawyer who recently got his master's in law from the University of Texas under the Fulbright Scholarship. Besides sharing his American experience, 
Aman Wadud gave a very informative presentation on the evolution of civil rights in the USA. The second appointed speaker, Saud M. Laskar, head of Pan India Sales, at Massify made a presentation to clear the common doubts people have about studying abroad. Laskar, who have been instrumental in facilitating overseas studies of more than 350 students from Assam over the last five years. In the countries like Australia, Germany, the UK and the USA informed the audience that 93% of the students who go abroad for the studies belongs to the middle class families. Abhishek Kumar, a graduate from Guwahati Commerce College, who is all set to study his Masters in Supply Chain Management at Cranfield University, UK, also shared his experience on the occasion. The 15th edition of Brigade Showcase, which will feature over 35 projects from the Brigade Group, will commence on 29th of July 2022. Open to the public from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., the three-day expo will continue till 31st of July 2022 at Sheraton Grand Brigade Gateway. Brigade Showcase will feature residential properties ranging from Rs 30 lakhs to Rs 5 crore, giving customers a choice from a wide array of properties across the four cities including Bengaluru, Mysuru, Chennai and Hyderabad. Customers can avail of attractive limited period offer by registering on Brigade Group's website. Pavitra Shankar, Head Residential Business and Executive Director, Brigade group said, we are excited to announce that our flagship event Brigade Showcase is back in its familiar form this weekend at Sheraton Grand at Brigade Gateway. Brigade Showcase is one of its kind event in the industry. Having been the pioneer of such developer hosted events, it is very special to meet customers and helping them to realize their dream of buying a Brigade home in the fun fair and spotlighted of the showcase. IKF Home Finance is a new aging housing finance company with a vision to transform lives. The path adopted by the company is to provide flexible financial assistance to their customers. IKF Home Finance brings a great legacy in servicing its customers with finance solutions. A track record of trust and reliability and a promise of quality, transparency and innovation. Led by an exceptionally qualified, experienced and dedicated team of professionals who understand the needs of the segment they serve and come with experience expertise in finance, project management, customer services and market development. The company believes in rendering services market by innovation, sustainable impact and long-term success for the clients. The processing are simple, hassle-free and quick offering not just financial assistance but also a happy experience of making dreams a reality through our support. Product portfolio includes home loans, home improvement loans and loans against property. With a focus on boosting the brand positioning and marketing initiatives, Next Education, India's leading K-12 B2B edtech company has strengthened its senior leadership team by appointing Vishwanath Ambadipuri as head of marketing. In his roles as head of marketing, Vishwanath will be responsible for the driving Next Education's market and communication strategies, spanning strategic partnerships, branding, marketing campaigns and corporate communications. An alumnus of the London School of Business and IIM Bangalore, Vishwanath brings to the table a passion for marketing development that focuses on practical implementation and an end-to-end -end approach towards business growth that entails market and strategic communications. His ability to create a convergence between innovation and creative helped the business entities he has worked in his tenure to scale new heights. Thank you for watching. Signing off, keep watching Hybiz News.